Okay, so this is how you would remove an EEPROM on an LK 1920 or a 1942. You get an EEPROM puller like this, they're readily available at McMaster's. You want to make sure you get it on both ends of the EEPROM and not underneath the receptacle. On a new machine, it's going to fit in a little tight, so you just got to be careful. You just come out nice and easy and wiggle it out. Okay? If you notice on the EEPROMs, there's a notch. There's a notch over here. Okay? When we supply the EEPROM, we put these arrows here to show where the notch is going to be located. So you take the EEPROM, kind of put it on the table and just kind of make sure that he's all nice and even. And they're not bent and they're slightly moved onto the inside a little bit. And you have the arrows in place and then with your hand you can line it up and then just gently push it into place.